Hello and welcome to the show. In true Fell Race fashion, the sun is setting as we are going to be getting started with this Fell Race versus the community. We are here in the Hot Wheels land. It's brilliant. I, I just I love the I love the aesthetics of that city going on behind us. Um we're going to be checking out the new Jeep Trail Cat that has been added with this DLC. We've got 12 of them all completely stock, and they're going to tackle a selection of Hot Wheels events. We're going to have a go at the Playground games as well, because there is an arena that I've not tried out yet out here for some Playground games. No idea how the Playground games are going to work with the uh, kind of Hot Wheels loops, whether they're just going to be dead ends or... Or what? So that's what we are going to be uh, figuring out. We're starting with one of my perhaps favourite circuits around here, the uh, the Tidal Teeth circuit. This one very much in contention for my uh, Hot Wheels shootout build series thing. I was very, very tempted to use this circuit. In the end, I didn't simply because it is a very, very long lap around here. But it is a great track. It's a good mix of, uh, of technicality and some quite fast bits. Ooh, I like having the choice of stuff. We've got to have... Okay, so we've got... We've got a Jeep, so we've got to have the Wave just to test suspension, and then we're going to have Split Jump because I like... I, I do like the Split Jump as a uh, as a challenge. It's something a little bit different for the cast to tackle. Uh, we'll go early afternoon. We will have some lovely clear weather. We're going to go for two laps here. See how our trail cats fare. So, here we are on the start line. I am hoping either to be on pole or at the very back. I don't really... Oh, uh, we're, we're, in the, we're in the problem area. <laughs> <laughs> we're, in, we're in the area where there might be kerfufflings. And to be fair, there is likely to be kerfufflings at every single corner for the for the early part of this uh, of this race. The Jeeps themselves, for... Oh, they do stall a little bit. Uh, if you run <laughs> manual and clutch, they can bog down if you are... There is going to be one staller, I think, in every, in every race. There's going to be one staller. At some point, it will probably be me. Oh, well, we're on sand. Oh, God. My physics got super unhappy. I was going to say we are on sand, shouldn't matter for this. My physics got really unhappy with that one. I do not know why. Like, the car was just lurching about and I had no control over it. That's so peculiar. I've, I've dipped wheels off there before, and not off that particular corner, but I've dipped wheels onto the sand before in uh, vehicles, and they, don't, like, they can get very unhappy, as you can imagine, but they normally get unhappier in a more natural way than that. Uh, there is some horrible drop-offs around here where things can go very badly wrong for people. Ooh, carefully does it through there. Uh, you got to be... Uh, well, it's a great sight going on ahead of me, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping with a bit of a bit of decent driving from me and maybe a few, a few bits of argy bargy from the cars up ahead as people are fighting for position, we will be able to uh, find a way into the fight. Up towards the split jump, we come. It looks like a couple of vehicles fell off. Uh, either that or... Uh, oh, yeah, I think they did. I think they would have fallen off there. I was going to say, I don't know where they... Oh! We missed a checkpoint? I don't know what, why, why that was telling me off there. I'm, I'm quite confused. Okay. <laughs> I've not seen the game ever do that one before. Uh, minor, minor scare averted through all of that. I think we have come out in ninth or 10th place, uh, depending on when everything updates itself. Oh, someone has missed a checkpoint. They're all gone wide and fallen off the road. We are working our way back up through the order. Are we going to try and make it four wide in the, in the Jeeps? Maybe not a good idea. Maybe not a good idea to try and fit the middle there. I'm going to have to have a lift. <laughs> Like that is that is not something that's ever going to work nicely, especially not on a Hot Wheels track in 700 horsepower Jeeps, off-road Jeeps at that. Here we go, loop the loop time, around, and then the big old speed boost as we come off the other side. We've got a pink Jeep going to our outside as we're going to break down into this next corner. So, <laughs> trying to figure out how much speed you can and can't get away with in these vehicles. They have got surprising amounts of grip for... Well, yeah, for an off-road Jeep with crazy amount of horsepower. Oh, that's a little bit close to the edge. Nearly went swimming. Come on, we're going to fire up the inside. Try and get a couple of places. Fourth place would actually not be a bad, would not be a bad position. Oh, okay, that was my bad. Uh, <laughs> I returned the favour. Oh, <laughs> the pink Jeep's gone down off almost what I did on that first lap. I apologise for the little bit of a nudge. Not intentional. Not intentional at all. Got a bit too much understeer. 
before uh, or before I realized what was going on. I can see the top three ahead as they are leaving the wave. Boing, and another one. Yeah, that, that suspension is so good across that section. So many cars. I was doing the uh, the Goliath event on this uh, on the Hot Wheels expansion, and uh, I was driving an Ultima, and I had to rewind through the wave section on that circuit about four times to get the to, to survive the damn thing because the Ultima would just ping off at random positions, and if you didn't rewind, there was an AI driving a Radical that uh, would be flat out through it and never have any problems because the AI is magical in places, terrible in other places, but magical in some places. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, always fun. Looks like there's a great battle going on for the lead between those two as they cross the jump. Now remember we've got a turn here and that there are no barriers on this section. Okay, so it freaks everyone out because it does say checkpoint missed briefly there. That's really weird. Not seen it do that on any other circuit with a uh, split ramp put in it. I wonder if you slow down if it will actually reset you over that section. Like if you don't go fast enough and get to the next bit so it realises you're actually pointing the right way. Oh, get off the wall you moron. Um, yeah, I wonder what it would do. I'm not planning on trying to find out in any of this. But, uh, oh, someone else has gone wide. Come on. Come on, Jeep. We can get a podium here. We can get up to third. Can we get any more positions? It's going to be difficult because there's not a huge amount more more lap, amount more race to go to make up any more positions around here. I'm loving the Jeep, though. Apparently the Jeep is working well for me. It does help that I have driven this circuit a couple of times, perhaps. Other people might not have done. Uh, we're going to go for a fourth gear, try and pick up speed as we, as, as we go on the exit of that uh, that loop. I might be too far back. And again, don't go doing anything too stupid. Don't do anything too stupid around this uh, around this circuit now, because there are plenty of places where you can fall off. That's another, another thing that I like about this circuit, is there are places where you can really go for a big swim. Oh, we're going to have to settle for a third, but I think that is a valiant comeback from being <laughs> dumped off the course on the opening lap and weird physics getting the better of me. I don't know whether I beached the the axles on the kind of edge of the Hot Wheels track or what it was. Something got very unhappy and turned me around. <laughs> Past this lap. <laughs> Three seconds quicker than everybody. That was some speed I had in the uh, in the trail, cats. Yeah, recovering back to third is uh, is not too bad at all. I have to say, I think actually there was somebody further down with a 28 uh, lap time or 228 lap time as well. I have to say these jeeps drive, yeah, really, really quite nicely. Uh, let's see how much XP I am away. I don't know if I'm going to level up this time. I don't think so, but uh, you never know. Uh, nope, it will be next time around. After the next, oh, maybe not because we're doing playground games next. After that, who knows? Maybe we'll have a uh, level up and we can win 2,000 credits. So, we have come to the largest of the arenas for a game of King. As I said, don't really know how well this is going to work, but uh, that is what we are going to find out. I'm not starting off as the King, unfortunately, so we're going to have to do a little bit of hunting around. Now, this arena looks absolutely ginormous on the map, but I'm not sure if that's just if it's just sort of the scale of the map that makes it look huge or whether it actually is going to be a massive massive map oh come back martini jeep i need the crowd off you if you could come and just donate it donate it to the foul race mobile that would be okay no okay well you could have a bump start just a small bump start or not a bump start thank you you listened and now i'm going to get oh we're stalled go 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 through the gap through the gap through the gap before we come out ghost mode oh bugger oh he resets quickly run run jeep run as fast as you can oh we're gonna go play up on the loop now because at least this is relatively safe from people oh crap oh crap the other one's coming this way no no don't come this way oh he's crashed that's fine that's fine oh bugger it's dead end uh, yes it is uh <laughs> Uh, this isn't great, is it now? Uh, where is he gonna go? Oh, he's going that way. Okay, that wasn't my finest hour, I'll be honest. Don't crash into me, thank you! Uh, <laughs> I wanted to investigate, I'll be honest. I was, I was just keen to, uh, keen to investigate. I'll have it- Oh, no, it wasn't quite close enough! No! How did that miss? How on earth did that miss? We must have been, that, that must have been millimetres away from, uh, from catching that. Is he going up on the- Oh, he's staying on the track! It's quite tough to chase someone down. I'll be honest, it's very tough to chase someone down when you've got the track, so you can't really try and cut them off anywhere. You've got to, um... 
yeah, really rely on either being close or be able to outdrive them. Oh crap, I can't get going again. Oh. Okay, the, uh, the gears could probably do with a little bit of work. Uh, downside of manual with clutch. As, as brilliant as manual with clutch is to uh, race with, there is a downside. Uh, oh, no, he was in ghost mode. Come back here. I want the king. Go, 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 run, run. There's a gear in there somewhere. We've not stalled it down this time. I'm not sure that the Hot Wheels tracks are a good place to be. I think you really want to be on the on the ground. It's a cool arena, though. I like it. It's kind of a shame. The only arena, there is only one or one set. Oh, that was incredible. And catch him, catch him. Yep, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Bonus points for style, guys. They really are bringing the stunting here today. However, I've got the crown again. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. This area is the only area for playground games. The, the arenas, the three different sizes, are all in this area. Oh, he caught me that time, or someone else caught me. Um, whereas the, I feel like they could have used uh, some of the other places, like the city could have worked for an arena. Admittedly, most of the city, most of the track in the city is in the sky. There's not much going on on the ground. Uh, someone did mention the, uh, ship, the shipwreck area, the ship graveyard. That could also work quite well for some playground games. So I feel like it could have been a, an extra, perhaps, arena somewhere, but... Uh, Either way, it's, uh, it's, this is a uh, suitably good arena, and it's very, very pretty as well, which is always a bonus to be uh, driving through. Uh, oh, we're going this way. Please don't be a dead end. Oh, no, gears. Go, 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 trail cats. I need more speed. There are a lot of angry vehicles behind you. There are many angry vehicles behind you. Oh, crap. Now there are going to be angry vehicles in front of you. All have a crash. No, bad. Oh, couldn't turn. Couldn't turn. We were <laughs> out of grip. The downsides, of course, of driving with manual and clutch is the stalling. The upsides is, you will notice, while we are all driving completely equal vehicles, that sometimes I'm going quicker than other vehicles in a straight line. That is because manual with clutch, well, you get to change gear faster. So there are upsides to it. Even, oh dear. <laughs> Thank you for the nudge. Uh, yeah, there are upsides to running manual and clutch uh, around it. I didn't realise it would be quite so noticeable in these of all things, but... Uh, there we go. Oh, about to be in control. Just about. Uh, there's someone playing around, I think, in here. I don't know where he's got. I was hoping he was going to pop out this side and I could have tried to cut him off there. It wasn't going to work. Yeah, it's a lot more difficult to try and cut people off in this sort of arena, especially when they can run around the loot. When you learn the, 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 the area, if you learn the area, I imagine you can probably make use of the actual Hot Wheels roads quite nicely. But, uh, yeah, you'll need to know which ones are blocked in and where you can turn, etc. Where is that jeep going? Oh, damn it. I was hoping to try and cut him off because I was expecting him to go hit that, get some airtime, and soar across to the other side, perhaps, or uh, try and go underneath it if it was further back. But uh, it didn't really work for him where, where he was planning, I think, but it's worked for him in terms of getting away. Come on, use some speed. Use some speed. I'm pretty sure this is a dead end up here for the uh, jeep, unless he's going to try and make the turn, in which case we're just going to dive bomb him. Uh, oh, he's going to try and do cheeky bugger. Very cheeky bugger. He's going to get... No, he's not going to get caught by the next one. I will get him, though. Thank you for donating the king to me. Uh, it's not going to be enough to get me a victory. In fact, it's not going to be enough to change my position. We're going to have to settle for, I think it was a fourth place. In the end, <laughs> good game of king. A good game of king. like the arena very, very much. I will, I will take a fourth place. Could have been a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, not, uh, not too shabby. Well, after the uh, fun of the King game, we have come to a point-to-point -point race. This one, the Stratospheric Slingshot, I think it was called. It kind of loops around the dinosaur island. I think it goes to the really big, I'm hoping, kind of, it goes to the big twisty loop. We might even be starting pointing towards it. Yes, we are. This could only go well in our wobbly off-road jeep, or relatively wobbly off-road jeeps. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone had a big stall on the start line. There are some gears in there. We go. Oh, God. You kind of wander a bit on this loop that does make it a little difficult at times. Oh, pretty sure we had wheels off the ground there. Jeep ahead is having all sorts of twists and wobbles. Uh, the, uh, the green jeep behind me did such a good job not to end up in my boot. I had to get on the brakes because I was trying to frantically avoid the out of control jeep ahead of me and I'm amazed no one ran into the back of me. This bit is brilliant. It's just almost a almost a vertical drop down the side of a mountain. Fantastic, fantastic fun. Oh, we bumped the wall. Everyone's... Oh, didn't know there was going to be this corner here. No one did. Everyone's in the fence. We've all just about got going again. 
That's a horrible corner. Everyone hit the wall. You come flying down there and it's suddenly a 90 degree turn. Oh, there's a little bit of a little bit of bumping and uh, we've not got out of there particularly well. I don't know why we've all followed one another. It's never a good idea because now we're in a narrow part of the course and uh, yeah, we're going <laughs> to end up tripping over each other. I should have dove out of the way, but uh, we didn't. I think there's going to be two cars that are going to make up a sack of positions on us lot here as uh, they managed to drive in relatively clean clean space. Yeah, we've fallen back a touch, but we can recover from this. We've got a, we've got one place back right there. Let's uh, head up towards this loop. Now, I might keep it in third. In fact, I will keep it in third because we're not getting much... Uh, we, you know, we're climbing very, very steeply, so I'm not getting much drive up there. Third has done the trick. We're going to fire up the inside of a couple of cars, slightly, uh, slightly without realising it on the uh, second of those two. Oh, it looks like someone fell off the course or got disconnected. I don't know why there was a ghost car going on there. Now we're just wall riding. We're not. <laughs> there are some brilliant corners around here. We go straight on at this junction. Yes, we are. We're going to have to jump on the brakes for this turn, though. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the obstacles that I put in, one was a spiral that we're about to come up to now. Can't remember the second. I don't know if I got that checkpoint. I did. You get away with so much on these checkpoints. Oh, wow. That was vicious. It, again, we got the just kind of flung by the uh, kind of camber on the road or something. I don't know what flung us, but something flung us straight up into the uh, wall. I've got a Jeep very, very close behind me. We've only got 20% of the race left to go. You want to try going around the outside there? Good luck. There's not the... <laughs> It's not the grip. We couldn't quite get it stopped in time. I didn't get it stopped very well in time, but I did make the corner a little bit better than that uh, green Jeep. All right, there only looks like there's a couple more turns to go. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's not do anything stupid with our trail cat here. Uh, oh, as I say that, I think I might be being a little bit too slow. You get, again, it's the whole trying to figure out what you can and can't get away with. Oh yeah, when you really throw this car into the corner, just the back end lets go in a peculiar manner. It's close, but it's not going to be close enough for them. I will take victory number two in the Trail Cats. I quite like that course as well. Um, the, the start's interesting. <laughs> the start twist is interesting, to, uh, to say the least. I think a few people uh, probably had issues with that checkpoint coming towards the spire or missing the checkpoint down there. It's quite an... That's, that's a nasty checkpoint. I should have been reset. I got away with that. I got away with that massively because I'm fairly sure I didn't hit it. Uh, I was very close to it, but I'm fairly sure I didn't actually hit the gate. So um, yeah, I would imagine other and there may have been there may have been kerfuffles further back on that opening spiral. All it takes is one car to get out of control, and they might recover it in time, and you not have anywhere to go. So yeah, Hot Wheels racing can always be uh, <laughs> be interesting and dangerous. Do we have enough XP to level up and have the potential of winning something interesting? Uh, we leveled up last time and it never gave me uh, the... the didn't sort of have the wheel spin. Okay, we'll do that at the end then. And for our final event, we have come to Sky Track Attack. This has got a huge amount of corners, lots of, lots of technical bits for the Jeeps. As far as the stunt goes, I've chosen the, the big drop, I think it was, I, or big dip. I don't actually think I've driven this one before. I don't. I've never picked it. Whether it was in one of the kind of random races I've done around, it might have been. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. Oh, we've got a <laughs> stalled again. Did anyone? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, same guy stalled twice. Only one. I mean, these do get. I say that. I, I stalled in the um, what's it called in the playground games. But uh, aside from that, I imagine there are quite a few stallings going on in the playground games. You want a little bit squished to the inside there of that first corner. There is a gear somewhere in there. Uh, not sure I actually wanted sick for there. It's not doesn't propel us far enough forwards to uh, require a sixth gear. We'll be careful when we come out of this loop because everyone's going up in the wall. We only very, very gently brush it. Ooh, why did it why does it do that? I don't know why it's doing that to me. Oh, I mean I'm sure it's doing it to other people as well. It's kind of if you're if you start ever so slightly sliding as you turn into one of those banked corners, the back end just jumps across the track almost. That's very, very uh, disconcerting, shall we say, to uh, have that one happen. We're going to go for another gear, and we've actually got a really good landing. No idea how I'm getting so much speed out of this uh, vehicle down some of these straights. Uh, oh, there's a blue car, though, that is 
carry a lot of speed there. He can uh, he can take that. Oh, we're gonna get a little bit of a nudge. Oh, because I'm in the wrong gear. That would be my stupid. Someone's yeah, run off the run off the banking with a lot of momentum. I might go up there as well, searching for a little bit of speed. Nope, nothing, nothing giving there. Nope. Fourth gear not working. I need some slipstream, I think, is what we need. That's a big angry pack of cars behind us. Uh, big jump through there. These should have no problems on the landings, and indeed, nothing, no issues for me. I've thrown that in with a bit too much speed. Uh, car ahead was a bit too slow. I was a bit too fast. Car, the leader and second, I think, were both a little bit too fast as well. I don't know when the uh, custom, I say, I don't know when the custom stunt is coming up that you pick. I'm pretty sure I've just seen it. That's a blue bit of track. Uh, we're going to get on the brakes because that's a really tight hairpin around there. That's a very angry pack still behind us. Okay, so this is what the big the, the big dip or whatever it is is. We just kind of go down. There's a jump and then we go out. Okay, not, not massively exciting, but it's something different. It's right at the end of the uh, lap as well. Okay, we have got a lap to try and... Well, get a... Oh, that's some lag going on there with the car ahead escaping off into the scenery. I think they just bumped the wall around a bit wide. They're going to try run around the outside, maybe. No, nothing's giving up there. We will hit that boost pad. Won't bother with sixth gear. No need. He's only propelling us up to 150 miles an hour. You know, only 150 miles an hour. Uh, oh, again, we do exactly the same thing. I see the cars ahead bump the wall, and then I have a little lift, and we just bump it that little bit less. Than, uh, than they did. That's uh, not quite so good around there, although no, we all bumped the wall about even that time. Uh, I think I hit it a little bit, again, a little bit at a shallower angle and didn't lose quite as much momentum because I'm right there looking for a way past. Again, <laughs> again nothing is giving here. Uh, where are they all going to be heading in terms of quarter? But they all want to go out the banking. I kind of do, but I do know there's a vehicle on my outside side that I've got to be mindful of. Uh, we're going to then run up here. The leader is very high. Don't run too high up though, because otherwise the uh, game might get angry and end up resetting you. And that's not very much fun. It's not very much fun at all. We will dive down. I might have dove down. I don't know. I think I just chose about the right point there to, uh, to dive down off of the course. Oh, not too many quarters to go now, though, if you're going to try and get a, uh, well, second place. Oh, that was a little scary. In fact, it's all a little scary for everybody uh, up, uh, up across that jump. Oh, no, running too deep. Car behind uh, wasn't quite close enough to capitalise from that mistake. Oh, the problem is you've got to push. You've got to push if you want to try and overtake the cars ahead, of course, uh, especially when you're in a one-make race like this. Can we? Nothing's going to happen out of this final quarter. I think we are good around that hairpin. We made up some time, but it's not going to be enough to uh, to do anything about the lead pair. I'm going to have to settle for a third place. We pull a little margin back to fourth. Yeah, have to settle for that a third fastest lap. <laughs> fastest laps. That's ridiculous. Fastest lap separated by just two tenths of a second. Two victories at a third place. Uh, or two victories, a third and a fourth. Not too shabby at all from me with the uh, with the trail cats. Good fun. Very good fun, in fact, to go racing with. I had some really good wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with these. There was a spin across the line from somebody that uh, was cutting it close to losing a position with that by the looks of the... <laughs> the race time yeah I, I like the trail cat i like the trail cat well of course it's much more designed for full-on off-roading rather than this bouncing around hot wheels tracks it's actually very very competent around here doesn't wallow and wibble its way around the circuits whatsoever it's yeah actually pretty good and because you know the suspension is built for dealing with those uh, much heavier duty off-road applications. It doesn't get confused with the uh, Hot Wheels jumps quite so much. We will finish off with... Did I not get a wheel spin? You know what? I said we'd do one, so bugger it. We'll get a wheel spin anyway, just for <laughs> just for you, audience. Um, we're gonna, yeah, that, 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 that's my normal luck. Normal service has resumed. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.